Hey, what's up and welcome to the next video. So over at my Patreon page, we took a vote and I asked you fans what kind of video you wanted to see next. You chose World's Worst Shoes, which was kind of a surprise to me because I gave you lots of good options and then you chose shoes. So here we are. We're doing a video about the worst shoes in the world. By the way, if you want to get in on my Patreon, we do a bunch of stuff over there. It's patreon.com slash fluffy talks. Check it out. And anyway, so yeah, let's look at some world's worst shoes. Let's do it. Okay, I did press record. All right. Nice. Hey. What's up? We'll start with the most uncomfortable looking shoes ever. Why would you ever want to walk like that? That's not how people walk. So why would you make a shoe that encourages you to walk backwards? It really messes with your mind looking at this. It takes a little bit before you realize that it's someone leaning into shoes that make it look like they're walking backwards, but they're not. Are these made to walk backwards or are you supposed to walk forwards in them? and it looks like your feet are facing the wrong way, it's weird. Maybe good for like an alien on another planet whose legs maybe work like that, but not for a human being. Here's a shoe with a goldfish bowl under it. Oh, that's so cool, yeah. I mean, cool to look at, not really cool for the fish. Does it have a little flap so you can feed the fish? Basically, you're gonna be walking around in these and in a couple hours, you're just gonna be walking around with two dead fish floating in your shoes, so. Cool now, kind of gross later. Look, this little fish is shocked. It's like, what? I'm gonna die in a couple hours? Come on, man. Don't be so morbid. Maybe there's a little flap to feed us with. Sorry, little fish. I just, I don't think the best of people anymore. How about these shoes that have teeth for soles? That's right. Red shoes with teeth for souls. I really don't think they're real teeth. They don't look that real to me. They could be. I don't know. Maybe this is the Tooth Fairy's pair of shoes. How do you even come up with this concept? Well, let me run through a scenario. I think I know how they came up with this concept. Okay, so one day they got into a bar fight and then they kicked a dude in the mouth and then they're like, whoa, there's a tooth stuck to the sole of my shoe. And they're like, ah, that's the shoe I'm going to make. Will there be any practical shoes in this? Probably not. Okay, this one's a little weird. It just looks like Photoshop, but you know, could be a shoe. Maybe someone just had their foot surgically turned into a high heel because they always wanted to be walking uncomfortably for the rest of their lives. Here's some frog shoes. Are they frog shoes or alligator shoes? They look like frog shoes. Are these actually made out of bullfrogs? That's disgusting. You know, you could have just made them out of the, you didn't have to put the little arms and legs on there and the tail. There's some sort of amphibious animal made into a shoe and it's gross. And they don't look cool. No one is gonna see you walking down the street in those shoes and be like, wow, that person is a badass. They look so cool. Ah, this is probably one of the worst shoes in this video. It's some sort of high heel made with a uh, what is it, a jaguar, or a tiger, or a cheetah? I know it's not a lion, but it's one of those, okay? The craftsmanship isn't amazing, I just know it has spots, so it's gotta be what, like a leopard, or a cheetah, or a jaguar? I don't know, okay, let's stop focusing on what animal it is, cause you know I'm gonna get it wrong no matter what. Let's just continue and assess this crappy shoe. Honestly, I could see, um, the Tiger King wearing these. Not even Carol Baskin wearing these, okay? I picture like Joe Exotic dancing around in the nighttime, nobody's watching and he's wearing these high heels. That's how I picture it. Oh yeah, shoe with babies in the sole. Not creepy at all. At least they're not real babies. Don't worry. I've done the research. They're not real babies. Okay, this is almost as bad as the first shoes I showed. I mean, I know ballerinas walk like that all the time, but is that a comfortable way to walk? Is this a good way of making yourself look taller by forcing yourself to walk on your tippy toes? There's a reason this person is sitting down while there's a picture being taken of these shoes. Can you actually walk in them? I guess you could, but how long is it gonna be before it feels like your big toe is broken? Ooh, a tasty sandwich sandal. A sandwich sandal. Oh, I get it. Can you actually eat it? Because I haven't had lunch yet and it's making me kind of hungry, so. Oh man, I wore my sandals to the beach and then I went swimming and someone ate my sandals. Man, these, these jokes are corny. I should just stop while I'm ahead. Ice cube shoes, those are actually pretty cool. Someone crafted some ice cube shoes. Again, not practical because they're only gonna last so long and your foot is gonna freeze, but these, out of all the shoes I've showed so far, I probably like these ones the best. Here's a platform shoe that looks like a mop. 
So I guess you can dust in those corners, dust your baseboards with these bad boys. It looks like you're wearing a furry dog on your foot. Like this kind of dog. It looks like you made a shoe out of this dog. I just want to say how awesome those dogs are. That's going to be my next dog, okay? I'm already thinking about my next dog, which is bad. But, you know, you got to think about the future. These dogs are adorable. I don't know how they see out of their fur, but they're adorable. And we're getting off topic, so let's get back to the shoes. But come on, look at it. It's so cute. Oh my god, look at it running. Look at it running. <laughs> it's adorable. Uh, oh, little umbrellas on your shoes. That's great. So your shoes won't get wet. So practical until a gust of wind comes by and then you kick yourself in the face. Oh, uh, here's some more shoes made to look like feet. So if you want to walk around barefoot, these are, wow, way too realistic. I don't believe it. I feel like it must be Photoshop, right? I don't know. I can't tell. But if they're that realistic, these are actually really cool, and I want a pair. But I, I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, you should never look into the sole of your shoe as your shoe looks into your soul. These shoes look like they want to swallow your soul. That's what I'm getting at. What the hell? Those teeth look more real than the other one. These are straight out of hell. You put your foot in there, and the shoe bites your foot off at the ankle. It's crazy. Those things are, wow, those are creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. It almost looks like they have eyes. Oh, these are pretty creepy too. Just a spine used as a heel. Creepy, but also really cool. They should make these shoes out of like your relatives that have passed away. You want to keep your relative close to you, so you make a pair of shoes out of their spine. It sounds a little weird, but I mean, we keep like cremated ashes in our house and stuff. This is just a more stylish way to respect the dead. You can make a wine glass out of their skull. This could be a whole new thing. <laughs> this is, uh, okay, heels with a chicken foot. Okay, those chicken feet don't look real. This looks like it's in some sort of art contest or something. Okay, it makes me feel better that someone didn't make these shoes deciding to walk around in them. These ones look pretty cool. It's like it's got an alligator mouth. I actually kind of like this one. Still not practical, but, you know, I might buy a pair, but not at all. I'm not actually qualified to tell you guys about shoes or assess shoes or critique shoes because I'm the kind of person who buys one pair of shoes and then I wear those shoes until they die and then I buy a new pair of shoes and I'm not really picky about what kind of shoes I wear. I don't, I don't care. I'm not a shoe person. So now that I've told you how underqualified I am to do this video, let's continue with the video. Yeah, I like the alligator mouth. I don't know why. Got some pigeon shoes. I do appreciate that they're not made out of actual pigeons, because that would have been horrible. Ooh, here's a concept for a shoe. Now, I'm like 90% sure this one is Photoshop. I'm like 89% sure it's Photoshop. I'm like 50% sure. It's a unicorn squirrel shoe. Great concept for a shoe. Let's never make it. Just keep it in the concept stage. That's better. Could you imagine getting kicked by this thing? Imagine getting kicked in the crotch. Little unicorn spike goes through your taint. Ugh. Now, I'm gonna finish the rest of this video assessing the shoes based on how they would feel if I were kicked in the crotch by them. Ooh, yeah, that would hurt. Look at that. That is some sort of punk rock shoe. Are those actual nails? Yes, if I got kicked in the crotch, that would do some damage. Although I think I'm more afraid of getting kicked by this shoe because that, ah, where's that gonna go? It could be bad. It could be really bad. That little pointed shoe will go into places where I don't want that little pointy shoe to go. I don't know, maybe this one's even worse though. Look at that, that is a killer shoe. Wow, could you actually walk on that? It actually looks like a very well-made shoe. I just always look at a shoe like this that's on display without anyone's foot in it, and like, could you actually wear that shoe? Could you walk around in it? Probably not, it's probably a liability. <laughs> You'd probably, you probably could walk in it, but it'd only be a matter of time before you stepped on someone's foot, and that would not end well. And let's end with just this awesome pair of shoes. They're sharks. I don't know how many times I've said that the shoes, okay, none of the shoes in this video are practical. These aren't practical, but they, out of all the shoes we've shown, these ones and the alligator ones I think I like the best. I think I was kind of leaning towards the ones that were staring into my soul, but then I got afraid. So I'm just gonna say these shark ones are the best. Just don't clip their heels. Don't step on this person's heels or that mouth is going to stab you. But yeah, they're pretty cool. And I'm going to end this here because my child is now screaming downstairs. She's she's home now. So um, someone said that my my uh, Nicolas Cage pillow wasn't here anymore. It is. It's just sometimes I'm blocking it out of frame. It depends which way I'm sitting. So I just wanted to let you know, don't be concerned. Nicolas Cage is still here and I'm thinking about adding a different kind of pillow to the couch. I don't know. You know, I add one thing a year to my background of my video, so. Ooh, what's it gonna be this year? All right, 
let's, uh, I don't know, I was going to say let's do it, but we already did the video. So uh, thanks for coming. See you guys soon. Bye. Nice. Nice. Nice.